All right, guys, this is me during editing. Uh, I thought it would be a good idea to include a little bit of a warning for this video. Um, this is mostly exaggeration and comedy, so, um, you know, don't dislike the video, please. Uh, that's about it. All right, see ya. Welcome back, it's Ryzen, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a video presenting my Tower of God challenge to the community. My prompt is rather open-ended, but it's basically this. What is your Tower of God hot take? An unpopular and or controversial opinion that you may have. It could be a continuation of the character trend where you choose what character you dislike or do not want to see anymore, or it could be anything else that you simply don't like, or maybe something that you love and everybody else seems to hate. This could either be a rant type thing or an appreciation type thing. The ball is in your court. I've tagged creators in the description that I would love to hear from, but of course, I'd love to hear from the viewers in the comments below. But most importantly, the reason why you're here, what is my hot take? Well, here it is. The princesses of Jihad are trash. Now I know what you're thinking, but Ryzen, didn't you make a video praising these characters for being well written and underrated? Well, yeah, but that video was the worst video ever created, like, it was just terrible. The guy who made that video is a goofy goober and he could eat my entire- <laughs> Alright, let me explain. They're not trash of course, but they're just a little overhyped and underutilized in my opinion, so I'm gonna go through each princess and explain why I think that. First, we're gonna talk about Anne, Alfred, Heiss, Pondo, Rebecca Pond, Uni, Uram, you know, so far and so forth. Basically, the princes that nobody even knows. Uh, we literally know nothing about them, and the thing is, nobody even cares. This isn't really a bad thing, though, since Tower of God is such a huge series, so there has to be some powerful characters that are sidelined, like, to the max sidelined. But if I see anyone comment, but Ryzen, Alfred Jahan is my number one wife, I I'ma just slap the goofy out of you, let's just be real. Next up, we have Arya Hemorrhoids? Adori, Eurasia N, and Repolista. So these princesses are actually really interesting, but we just know pretty much crumbs about them. This isn't a bad thing, again, because they are pretty hype characters and you know they're the type of characters that you really hope to see, but really these can't be in anyone's top 10 or realistically even top 25. And if they are, then let's just be real, you're just trying to be different, bro. Next up, we have Kunmashini and Garam. All right, these are valid characters. I'm not gonna hate on either one of them. All right, now let's talk about Lopobia, Lilial, and Shilial. Wow, they did the bare minimum as antagonists, and they're slightly more attractive than Rachel. Whoa, that's real different, guys. People who actually love these characters are either 400 pounds or they clap at the end of mediocre movies. Like, just get a life and appreciate the actual good antagonists of the series. All right, now we're gonna kind of hone our focus down to one Princess of Jihad. And this is Yuri Ha. Alright, this is where the real controversial opinions come in, alright? I don't really like Yuri that much, like as much as the average Tower of God enjoyer does. Um, you know, hate me for it, whatever. I just think she's pretty basic, to be honest. A female attracted to the main character who easily gets mad and is really strong. Wow, never seen that one before. But, but, but Ryzen, she breaks the rules of the princesses and helps the irrig- Yeah, I don't care. Uh, it just doesn't really impress me that much. Like, don't get me wrong, she has cool moments. Like when the Black March, quote unquote, slipped out of her hands. And when she fought Karaka, like all that stuff is pretty gas. I'm not saying that she's not cool. I'm just saying that a lot of people, and I mean a lot of people, swear that Yuri's character is like peak fiction. But to me, Yuri is just simply a good character. Nothing less, and certainly nothing more. Next up, Endorsey. Honestly, there isn't really a problem with Endorsey as a character. Her selfish nature, her relationships with both Bomb and Nock, and her presence as a famous princess in Shibisu's team are all just great. Like seriously, this character was amazing. But where is it? SIU, tell me. When is the last time we furthered the relationship between Bomb and Endorsey? It's important. When's the last time Endorsey did anything? SIU has reduced what could have been an amazing side character to a plot device. Endorsey is literally just bong bong, and it's criminal. I get that there's a lot going on in the series, but Endorsey really had potential, and the consistent neglect of this character just really just killed my interest, to be honest. It would be different if she was like sealed or locked up or traveling somewhere, but most of the time, she's with us. She just does nothing. Honestly, it's a little bit of a ruined character, and her character hasn't really been decent since the name hunt station, if I'm being honest. All right, for the final Princess of Jihad that we're gonna talk about in this video, Anak. 
Everything that I just said about Yuri applied to Anak. Amazing character, but just dropped and ruined for no reason. At this point, I don't even want any more of Anak and Endor, so just bring back Daniel for real, for real. But uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, to summarize, in my opinion, these characters are either underutilized or simply, I think, valued way too much. Um, I kind of want to follow this video up where I rank the princesses, either that or I read your guys' hot takes and react to them. I'll probably make both of those videos if this video does well. If it doesn't, then, um, you know, I won't. Um, shout out to Olivinus and a massive, massive shout out to Demon God Kane, Nicholas, and Gavin for being those regular tier patrons. Uh, it truly does mean a lot to me. And, um, you know, please leave a like on the video if you haven't already. Um, I get, I can guarantee you there's going to be a ton of people disliking this just based off of what I said. You might get a little bit of the same vibes from my roasting manga video as you will on this one. I don't know, man. It's kind of fun to just like trigger people on purpose and just like exaggerate my opinions a little bit i don't know man i enjoy making videos like this uh, i kind of want to make more of like you know just giving like my hot takes and like unpopular opinions and just see how much i could piss people off it's just this is kind of fun man um you know have a great rest of your day guys and uh you know i'll see you guys in my next video